On today's Try to Finish Something, I have a project that I'm going to get to, and it ties into an email that I received about a week ago. And I'm going to just read this email as is. It starts, So I have a funny story. If you share this on the show, please don't use my name. I'm going to call him Dr. S. And Dr. S writes, I am a neurosurgeon. Yes, a brain surgeon. And I am also a Star Wars nerd. And people commonly use the phrase when something is difficult but not impossible, they say, well, at least it's not brain surgery. For the past six months, I've been using the phrase around the office, well, at least it's not like try to finish something weathering. <laughs> Everyone in the office knows that I am a giant Star Wars nerd and knows what the phrase means. Well, the other day it slipped out with a patient. It was a patient that I've been seeing for a long time and have a very conversational relationship with. They asked if the recovery for their process was going to be hard and I said without thinking, well, at least it's not like it will be try to finish something weathering. <laughs> that story would have been funny as is, but that wasn't the best part. Found out the patient also watches your channel too and we spent the next 15 minutes talking about how much we liked your props and how impossible they seemed to replicate. He goes on to say a bunch of other really nice things, but in the end he says, thanks for bringing two nerds together. And Dr. S, you are far too kind. You're a brain surgeon. I'm painting hunks of plastic. But I, I, I thought that was very funny and I got some complaints after the last try to finish something, Matt, saying that I didn't give enough close-ups of what I was doing in the painting process. So. What I want to do is, if you follow me on Instagram or my Try to Finish Something page on Facebook or the Star Wars Room Builders, you saw a really cool military container that I picked up. And that container is going to be the table that my Glowforge is going to sit on. And I'm going to paint it and do a bunch of things with it. I'm working with Martine from Dune Sea Outpost on a cool panel that's going to be on the front of that. But I'm going to need to paint that container and I'm going to need to add some things that are going to need to look like they were already part of that container. So the paint scheme and all of that has to match. And I'm going to show you the details on how I would do that. <laughs> but of course, <laughs> I can't just do something easy. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm going to try and recreate that paint without going back and looking at the container. And I'm going to do this in real time. And I'm going to design a quick panel, put some greeblies on it, and see if I can match the paint on that container without looking at the container. <laughs> I don't know why I do these things. And to make it worse, I'm going to give myself two hours from start to finish. So I'm going to try and match paint on a container that I haven't seen in about four days. I'm going to give myself two hours to design a quick panel, put some greeblies on it, and see if I can match the paint. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I don't know why. <laughs> On today's Try to Finish Something. This is my Glowforge on its current table saying, I'm waiting 35 minutes on Illustrator and now the blinking blue light means the Glowforge is ready for cutting. And I'm not the best at design in Adobe Illustrator. I stumble my way around and I am in no way fast. In the part I didn't read in Dr. S's email, he said that the patient's surgery was going to take two hours. And I guess that's when my brain decided that that should be my time for this build. And I should have probably picked more time. I have a few layers of spray paint to do and I usually give them a while to dry, but I'm going to have to cut that down today. And I'm using as much of this leftover scrap acrylic as I can. Okay, the print looks good. It's good enough for this. Time to make sure that my greeblies fit. I, I wish I'd made the vents for that one vent greebly more narrow. I've got no time for that now. I have to peel the protective backing off and give this a coat of gray paint. I remember on the military container there being a gray, a black, and a green. Normally I would sand this acrylic first just to give the paint something to hold on to, but I've got no time. And I gave it about 18 minutes to dry and it's still a bit tacky, but again, no time. I'm just doing a basic chipping effect using plain white toothpaste. The next layer will be flat black and the parts covered by toothpaste will obviously still be gray. And 
and here's the black. And time for more toothpaste. I'm a bit nervous about this paint. If I really press my finger on it, I, I think I can feel the paint slide a bit on the acrylic sheet, but I've got no time to go back now. I, I, I might give the green a little more time to dry, but I'm already an hour and 15 minutes into this. And here's the green. And I gave this layer of paint 20 minutes to dry, two minutes more than the others. So this should be much better. <laughs> yes, that that is sarcasm. I've got 23 minutes left and I think I'm going to be fine. I just used some basic gray, a flat black, and the last layer is an army green color dusted with yellow. I'm just going to remove the toothpaste to reveal my other two chipped colors. I'm just using some paper towels and I'm using some water and ooh, the prop smells minty fresh. But my whole point in doing this is to show you that this isn't brain surgery and really anyone can do this. Hmm. I guess when you figure that out, no one will be watching this channel. I, I should really think these things through better. Oh well, as you can see, I have moved on to weathering and I'm just starting with some rust and I'm mixing some acrylic paints by eye and randomly adding that in. And I know in the Room Builders group, Eric, last name withheld, complained and had a whole paragraph about, um, you know, in Star Wars, they, they don't have rust. And why do people keep adding rust? It's not accurate for plastizote and for duristy. <laughs> I'm, I'm just giving him a hard time. He's right. I realize that we are told the items in Star Wars don't rust as we know it, but in The Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett, there are a lot of things that are weathered and dirty that look rusty. I mean, look at the sand crawler. That thing looks rusty, or it's a really rust-colored grime, but that is my earthbound opinion. I'm just adding some yellow grime to this first and dabbing it off because I remember that container being stained with, I think, pollen from being outside, and I'm just trying to keep this very random. Next, I am adding other shades, brown, some orange, and I continue to dirty this up, adding more filth, and yes, Eric, rust. <laughs> I am adding orange and rusty colors around the cutouts where the greeblies will go because that's where they would rust and bleed into the paint. Also, the edges where the paint had chipped away to the primers below would also rust on Earth. I am now adding drips. I am starting with the same colors and pulling the paint downwards. And now when I wipe it off, I wipe down to give me that first layer of drips. After the yellow, I will get rustier in color and get browner, probably not a word, towards the center of these runs. It's all about the layers and just keep adding different shades and color. Apply and wipe apply and wipe. And I'm down to about 16 minutes and this is going to be close. Lucky for me, this is a lot of wet blending and these paints really don't have time to dry. I do a lot of blending and disguising the paintbrush strokes by dabbing and smearing the paint with my fingers and the brush. Now, I need to add the greeblies and then to add a bit of after greebly weathering. Oh, yeah, that, that is what I was afraid of. The paint losing its stick to the acrylic when I screw these greeblies in. The top piece twists a bit and it's pulling the paint with it. And it's too late now. I can't change it. And if you do this, try and sand it if it's a smooth surface like this and allow each paint layer to fully dry. My vent, on the other hand, has had plenty of time to dry. I'm going to attach that and do another pass of greebly in place weathering. And I'm just using a brush with a more fine tip to add some of those darkest parts of the drip and adding some darker colors to act as some shadows between the chip colors of the paint, just to make them stand out a bit.
Now, the last layer is some of the yellow paint pigment because the piece I'm trying to match was, like I said, stained with, I think, pollen, and I'm trying to add that yellowed dust look. And yes, I'm also stalling. I have five minutes left, but I'm nervous to see if it matches. Something looks a bit off from what I remember, and I'm not sure what yet. Hey, if you want to join my Patreon group, I have a new member, Leo Mitchell, who just signed up, and a big thank you. I also have people wanting me to add new stuff to my Amazon wish list, which I have done, and yes, I am still stalling. All right, I've got about one minute left, but this test piece is pretty much done. I'm calling this brain surgery test piece matching challenge finished. Two hours no looking. And I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, please subscribe and consider joining my Facebook group, Patreon, or grab something off the Amazon wish list. And as always, if you didn't, just keep it to yourself. And we'll see you next time as we try to finish something. All right. You want to see some glamour shots with my new Nova Stella LED lights? Yes, I did buy two more. I'll put the details on how you can save 10% like I did below. Come on, they make this look sexy. Oh yeah, I'm still stalling, but it looks pretty good. All right, here it is on the actual container. It's not terrible. The green is a little too limey and the gray too light, but I'm calling this finished. Glam shots on the way and thanks for watching. Oh, you can see right there how it twisted, but it's not bad in the matching. Ooh, here are some with the sexy lighting. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you for the inspiration, Dr. S, weathering isn't brain surgery.